Congratulations, you just bought your first FPV drone. Sweet. So you wait a couple days, and you get that in the mail. You rip open that package. You dump all your crap out. There's all sorts of crap you've never seen before. There's chapstick. There's a fidget spinner. There's this thing. This is going to be harder than you thought, but whatever. You put it together the best you can, and boom! You end up with something that actually looks like a drone. You don't know how, but you did it. Now you head over to the computer. You plug your drone in, and something actually shows up on the screen. So you do some fancy computer things, and you now have a drone that flies. Sweet. And then you run out. No, you Naruto run out to the field. Throw your drone down. Arm it. Take it off. Oh my god, you're flying. Oh my god, this is awesome. And you crash. Bummer. That sounds like you. You've come to the right place. I'm Profitability FPV, and today I'm going to be talking about some basic skills that you should learn when you first start flying FPV drones. Now, I'm not going to regurgitate all the information that you've already seen on YouTube and Google and wherever else. Things like practice more, fly in the simulator. Everybody knows that. I'm not here to talk about that. I'm going to be talking about the things that I personally wish I would have done a little bit more when I first started to make me progress a little bit faster. I think that's going to be a lot more valuable to you guys and help you progress a little bit faster as well. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so you're out at the field, you're ready to fly. What's the first thing you should do? Make sure that you're not flying over like asphalt, concrete, any of those like super hard surfaces because you will crash and if you crash on a hard surface, I promise you will break something at one point or another. So give yourself the best chance of success and pick a field like this one with grass or tall weeds or something like that to provide a soft surface for crashing. Now I also recommend lowering your camera angle a bit for the first flight. Some of you might be coming from simulators where you're flying maybe 30 or 40 or some crazy high camera angle. Lower that a little bit. You don't want to have a crazy high angle so you're going super fast and it's really hard to control. You want it nice and relaxed and controllable. So just lower that angle a little bit. And one more thing on simulators. Some of you might come from those feeling very confident and thinking you're just going to tear it up the first time you fly the real thing. Maybe just lower the expectations a little bit. While simulators are great to get basic movements down and the basic feel of how a drone flies, there's no substitute for the real thing. Things like wind, bent props, ground effect, and many, many other things all account for why a drone flies differently in real life versus on the computer. Just keep that in mind, temper your expectations, and just be patient. Well, that pretty much covers the boring stuff. Let's get a drone in the air and start talking about some basic maneuvers you can start learning. Okay, so the first thing is to just get a feel for how it hovers. Leave the throttle at certain points and just observe what it does. There's a very fine range of descending and climbing in altitude. So the next thing, just practice using your forward and your back and your left and your right. Get a feel for all of those stick movements and what they do to the drone. Also observe that if you point the drone somewhere and don't touch the throttle, what does it do? it descends. So just keep that in mind. And it works in all the directions. So if you go right, it's descending. See, I'm not touching the throttle. Just understand that from a hover position, if you then give it a pitch or roll movement, the drone will descend. This will help you understand how the drone's angle relates to how much lift you're getting from the motors. The more angle for the same throttle setting that you have, the less lift your drone will get, and that's why you experience the sinking. So the next thing I recommend trying out is just from a hover position, pitch forward, and just try to maintain the same exact altitude. You see I'm barely touching the throttle stick. So when I change pitch, I have to increase it a little bit to maintain altitude. but it's a very fine maneuver. So practice holding the same altitude while just flying forward. You can get really low to the ground. So practice doing that forward, back, left and right, going in a straight line and just maintaining the altitude. That'll really help you understand how to control your altitude while the drone is in motion. So once you got that down, it's time for a little bit of an advanced maneuver set. 
It's called the slalom. Now it's pretty basic. You see ski racers do it all the time. They just weave in and out of stuff. They turn left, they turn right, and they kind of just link their turns. So how that's going to apply here is we're going to do a slalom, but we're going to try to maintain altitude through the whole thing and make the turns nice and smooth. Now it's a lot easier said than done, believe me. Let's try it out. Let's start going forward. Let's turn left, then turn right. There's a little hill there. Turn left, turn right, turn left, turn right. Just link your turns, try to maintain that altitude the best you can. I know it's difficult, that might take you a little bit of time, but it's really going to help you have better control in the future. My battery's dead, gotta bring it in. Alright, we got a couple more things to talk about here. And the first one has to do with momentum and stopping. So if I start going forward here and I want to stop, what do I gotta do? Well first I gotta pitch back. But what happens to the throttle? I still have it high, right? So I climb. What you should do is pitch back, kind of lower the throttle, and then bring it back up in case you overcorrect. So going forward, pitch back, lower the throttle, and maybe bring it back up if you start dropping altitude. That'll really help you start understanding momentum and how that affects different maneuvers you might do with your drone. All right, so the last skill that I have for you guys is to understand ground effect. So for those of you that don't know, ground effect is a name for the, the feeling you get when your drone is really close to the ground and it seems kind of unstable or wobbly. So if I go down here, you can see it's really, really, really touchy on the controls. That's because you got a cushion of air under the drone and it's you know, whipping and swirling around, it's not stable, which means it's very difficult to hold position accurately in your drone when you're really low to the ground. This is most apparent on maneuvers like takeoff and landing when you're trying to remain somewhat stationary and controlled to bring it either up or down. So when you go faster though, it becomes a little less of an issue because now you don't really have a stationary pocket of air. It's moving, so it's not as, you know, windy and swirly down there. It's a little bit easier to control. So although going low and fast looks cool, it's not actually that difficult to do. So watch when I try to land here. This is why landing is so difficult. I bring it to a relative hover. Now I want to bring it down. See, it's kind of bouncy. What I actually prefer to do when I'm landing is to kind of come in with a little bit of speed. So like this. It's a little less bouncy. You see that? You can kind of ease it in a little bit more. So if you don't mind the bouncing, by all means, land straight up and down. But I personally don't prefer the super jarry motion. So I just like to you know, bring it in at a little bit of speed, almost like you're landing a plane. So now that you have all the basics down, let's put together just a basic flight with all of these skills. We're going to start from the ground here and we're going to take off. Nice and easy. I'm going to go over here. We're going to hover. I'm going to do our forward motion, stop, backward motion. Stop, get out of the way a little bit here. Go left, work the throttle so you maintain altitude. Stop, go right, work the throttle. Stop, we'll do some slalom. Just be sure to continue working that throttle. It's never going to be at one setting for too long. You always got to be making little minor corrections to the throttle to maintain altitude or whatever you're trying to do. 
So if there's one stick that you should work on mastering, it's the throttle, because that's going to affect everything you do. All right, so now let's practice hovering in ground effect down by the grass here. And grass is a little bit easier than pavement, just because some of the, the prop wash stuff dissipates a little bit in the grass, whereas on the pavement, it's just stationary. It's a hard surface. It bounces right back up into the props. But you see that it's bouncing. It's very, very touchy. So just be aware of that. Now if we want to land, I'm going to do the hover landing this time. Be really easy on it. Try to hover as best you can. Very, very slowly with the throttle. There we go. Soft landing, disarm it, and we're good. All right, well, that pretty much sums up the basic skills that you should learn. I hope you guys got something out of this. I know they seem simple, but it's one of those things that it's easy to do, it's hard to do well, and it's really hard to master. So you might be watching this thinking, well, yeah, that's easy, but before you judge too hard, try it out for yourself, try holding the altitude. It's a lot harder than you might realize. But I think these skills are really beneficial because they play right into like freestyle and racing and just so many different aspects of FPV drones. They really will help you if you work hard on these and really learn to master these skills. I really want to tailor this mostly towards beginners because beginners are what move this hobby forward and if we don't capture their attention the hobby just will not grow and we all want it to grow. So look forward to more videos like this in the future. But until next time you guys, I really appreciate you watching, so thanks for that. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. Feel free to leave me a comment and please subscribe if you haven't. See you on the next one.